popular and most accomplished athlete in the history of the Bay Area, Joe Montana. When people fell in love with the 49ers, it was Montana. And Joe is out pushing a new book on high blood pressure. I'm just curious, do you ever get tired of talking about when people approach you what you did 20 years ago? You know what I mean? Like for, for the average person, hey, Joe, I remember that past. And you go, you know, geez, I've, I have kids. I'm a father, a husband. I've done other things. Uh, not really. I mean, some, it's usually the only time I look back. You know, yeah. I don't look back a lot. So when people bring up memories, it's it's fun to look back with them. And you don't get a lot of time with the fans to begin with. So, yeah. but you got out but, clean. I mean, of of all yeah. the athletes, nobody carried you off the field. You were able to quit when you were still good. Uh, you ever look back and say, I could have sneaked another year in? You know, I, I wish I could have snuck another one in. I just don't know mentally if I could have taken it as much as physically. Yeah. I was just afraid at that point in my career. I'd reached the point where I was saying to myself, you know, I'm going to work and not going to the practice or yeah. going to the stadium. And because it then became work and not a game any longer. And, you know, when you start thinking those way, that way and you start trying to protect yourself, usually when you get hurt. So yeah. I was kind of, I, I, I wish I would have played longer just for my boys, you know, because they still don't remember much about it. But uh, Tell the truth, when you pick up the boys or you're, you're walking around your ranch, you limp at all? I mean, you got something? Oh, yeah. That, yeah. Yeah, I got my, my knees, probably my knee and my neck are the most, the biggest issues I have going mm -hmm. right now, so... Uh, so you can't dunk anymore? Um, yeah, but it depends, you know, I get oh. that <laughs> system where you can crank it down okay. a little bit, I can, I can get, get a few... <laughs> hey, before we talk about this book, you and Jennifer, the last time, you big national news was that Super Bowl thing, mm -hmm. right? And I remember I, I, I wanted to tell you exactly what I said. I said, come on, Joe, throw him a bone. You, you know, football made you, and of course the deal was that you chose to go to one of your children's games then attend the MVP ceremony prior to the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. Any regrets? You took a lot of hits on that. No, not at all. You yeah. know, I, I, when I left, um, I typically don't go to the game anyway. Mm. Um, and one of the things that I said when I left, that both my boys had a game. One played Friday night, one played Sunday mm. at 12 or 12.30. So I said I'd be back for the game. And that's more important. Those games are more important mm. to me than the Super Bowl. I think I've been to one Super Bowl since... Uh, 1979, I went my first time, and the other ones I played in. You know what the so. comeback is? Hey, the, the football made you famous, Joe. It enabled you to do what you want. Well, yeah, but how many people, do you, you see any of the big people from IBM or Apple or Oracle mm. going back to, to where they were? And, and yeah. Those things just don't happen, and it just happens to be that that's the way football is, and they expect certain things of you. But, you know, I've moved on away from football. Mm. People have a hard time to believe that especially the NFL, after what they did to me in the newspaper. Um, so they try to get you back without... So you think the NFL sent out the, the bad notice on you? Well, I yeah. mean, the guy who wrote it knows how to get a hold of me and my agent and didn't yeah. either. So okay. obviously... And basically they said you asked involved. for $100,000 to show up. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure money was talked about to see if it yeah. would make me stay, yeah. but I typically... In fact, uh, the people at, at Novartis here actually moved... Um, an interview I was supposed to do Friday to late Thursday night, and we okay. did it standing outside in the rain so that I could get out on time to make my son's game, which yeah. I was very much appreciative of. This is uh, surprising only because you built a reputation on being so cool, right? That was your whole thing, <laughs> and now we know you have high blood pressure. Were you faking it all those years? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's probably. I don't, yeah. you know, it's just one of those things that crept up on me and in my lifestyle and in the way I like to eat. Um, and also had a family history of it, you know, so we've been out on the road with this thing now and in, in, you know, going into our fourth year. And uh, one of the big issues I always talked about was that getting your blood pressure under control, which I've been able to do, is really half the battle or less, okay. because staying there for the rest of my life is difficult. So, but you and, didn't know you had high blood pressure until you went in for a checkup. Correct? No, I had no idea. I had, there were no symptoms with it. So I was going in to get a checkup because Jen was saying, you know, since you turned 40, you might want to go to the doctors at least once a year. And I felt perfectly fine. Tell the truth. So. Somebody said, Joe, you want some Super Bowl to put Jen on the cover to dress it up? <laughs> exactly. Uh, sure. So it was to help sell some issues. <laughs> no, but actually, they're free. So, yeah. But uh, real quick, if, if I read this book, what's it going to do for me? Well, I, it gives you a lot of tips and tools and, and information on on the high, on how to manage your high blood pressure, how to control things. Mm -hmm. There's some recipes in there you might want to try. You'll probably like the uh, black bean and prune um, brownies. Look at you. I know. Can you imagine that? We had one guy on our set eat ten of them before yeah. he knew what was in them. Does it make so you feel good. old though when you have to say I have to eat prunes? Well, you didn't. I didn't know they were prunes when I tried them either. <laughs> Let's I mean, do some things real things quick here. Yeah. Roslisberger. Yeah. Hey. 
they're paying you millions of dollars. Should they have the right to tell you stay off a motorcycle? Well, the team? as long as you're involved in the game and you know getting this close to the next season, um, I would probably mm -hmm. say yes. Mm -hmm. um, I would just think though that you shouldn't have to tell the guy at that age accomplishing something that, that he yeah. just accomplished, probably a lifetime dream, I wouldn't want to jeopardize outside of the game my ability to continue to do something I really love to do. Yeah, steroids in football. Was that around Did in you your time? Have you seen my calves? No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You feel sorry for Bonds a little bit? Well, yeah, I mean, obviously it's, it's tough to go through that and try to play at the same time. I mean, it's a big distraction no matter what they say. Yeah. And it's not only tough on him, but it's tough on the team. And in 10 seconds or less, I know you're, you're very good with people, but do folks leave you alone a little bit, or is it still every time you go out of the house, somebody's jumping you? No, no, it's actually pretty good. Most of the people are, are fun uh, to be around with. It Every now and then you get one that you yeah. uh, won't leave you alone. And uh, we yeah. were out the other night in Oakland, and... Uh, for my birthday, and, okay. and we ran into one. But right. uh, we'll throw him a pass and leave him alone. Hey, good luck with the book, Joe. Yeah, thank you. All right, All back right. to you. All right, guys. Thank you.